Good evening, folks. Tim from Anger Anglia. Thought I'd do another quick video of what's going on in the workshop down here at Yester Ford. Um, there is lots of early English Fords here at the moment. As you can see here to my left is the uh, early 50s Ford Prefect that I picked up uh, the weekend just gone by. Uh, this is actually uh, a really good car for its age. A lot of the commercials really suffer from rust, as you might have seen that green one I had a few weeks ago. But this one's um, had a lot of repairs over the years and um, it's all in high fill or primer, ready to be painted. So my painter come down today and had a quick walk around and we made some decisions of what we're gonna do with it. So it's very exciting. Um, it's basically complete. Unfortunately, the engine had the head removed, had water get into it. So the engine's all locked up. So I've got to pull that out, pull it down and uh, rebuild it. Sitting behind it, which I may have done a video earlier on this one is Mike from Yester Ford's 51 Prefect Ute. It's a super original car. Um, it's just original paint still on it, as you can see all the patina. Really cool, it's got white walls, etc. So it's gonna uh, go into the body shop shortly too and have some rust repairs done. And over here's Mike's little 300E Thames van, real original car, very clean. Over here, we've got the uh, 1200 Super that uh, arrived yesterday. This car is a South African car, so it's been imported here into Australia, it hasn't been registered yet. It's a really late car, like 67 model, with the uh, little park lights and the grill. We didn't get many late cars here, nor did we get uh, supers, but it's not a bad little car. Um, as, as you can imagine, it's had uh, a respray at some stage, had a new interior. It's had a few modifications done to it, which are a little bit different. Uh, it's got a 1600 Crossflow Escort engine in it, um, and running an Escort four-speed box. Uh, with an integral bell housing, which is an early gearbox. I think England has a lot more of those gearboxes. We don't have many here. So it's got cable clutch and bits and bobs like that. So a few different things, some custom engine mounts. But overall, it's actually a really solid car because it's come from South Africa. It's not rusty at all. It's just got a few, you know, a few marks on the paint, which would be probably fixed up. Hard to see here, but uh, the different looking exhaust manifold, I haven't seen anything like that before. Maybe that's a, an English... English thing or a uh, South African thing. Uh, it's running like a, uh, a Nissan or a Toyota carburetor, which is a little bit different. Alternator, would have had a heater, doesn't have one anymore. This aluminium box here I suspect's for uh, where the clutch cable comes out, a bit of a pivot point, so. But overall, it's not a bad car, it does present well. Not too sure what we're gonna do with it. Keep it, sell it, who knows. Um, I just did like it, never had one before. But I'm going to go through and get it running. It needs a starter motor and lots of other little things just to sort out before it goes. But yeah, that's my 1200 Super, which is pretty cool. Over here, I've got my 54 uh, 100E Anglia that I've done a few videos on. As you can see, the engine's all painted up now and back in. I had to uh, check the clutch out. And uh, to get the gearbox out on these really early cars, which I only learned the other day, you can't get them out. The bell housing is so tight against the firewall that you've got to remove the engine. And reading the Ford book, it specifies that you have to do that as well. So I pulled the engine out, pulled the gearbox out, checked that all out, checked the clutch out, replaced that. Looking at the clutch uh, on the ring gear, that was uh, missing a tooth. So to get the flywheel off a side valve, you've got to remove the sump. So I removed the sump. New ring gear, it's inspected the engine. It's all really good, Nick. So uh, this car's coming back together really soon. Um, spoke to my paint guy, it's gonna go down and get a cut and polish. And a real good detail and a couple of little things tidied up on it. Uh, this car will be for sale soonish, once I've finished it. It's gonna come up really, really good. Everything I've touched um, has been painted and sandblasted. So cross member's been out. All suspension's gonna be painted and renewed all new brakes. So it's gonna be a good little car once done, all new window rubbers. So it's a great little car, but uh, that's what's going on in the workshop at the moment. Lots and lots. Um, and I've got more and more to do and more cars to come down to show you as well. But thanks for watching folks, bye.